might be it. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, um, as far as, is there anything in this movie that you guys, like, would change? I, I can think of one, but I'll, I'll be, and mine's a little sillier, so I'm just going <laughs> to see if one of you guys would say it. The cow over the well. <laughs> <laughs> Change. Like the the that uh. Well, go ahead and tell us. No, no. I mean, I asked the question. She wants to give us a chance to see if we'll say it on our own. I mean, I, I just it was like the first thing that I thought about when I saw it in the movie. I can't think that I would change anything. I'm gonna say it. All of their teeth. Or they They're too white. Like, too white. I was like, <laughs> where are your missing teeth? Like, I know you, if you're chewing tobacco this whole time, you're definitely missing teeth. Um, that's my only. Yeah, I actually. Change. That's funny that you said that. In the middle of the movie, I noticed him, him, when he's talking, his teeth are overly white. Mm-hmm. And and especially because of uh, you know what whatever they did to his skin, mm-hmm. his his teeth pop out even more, mm-hmm. and it's just a funny kind of uh, misstep in the in the production to not notice that. Well, I think it happens a lot in movies. I think Tim and I always notice like, oh, that's so funny. They're on they're stuck on this island. Why are their teeth still super white after like? Or they have haircuts. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so I think that's always, to me, that always, like, um, I'm going to use one of James's um, references. It, it, like, takes me out of the movie, you know? And that really (laughs) I use that all the time now. Yeah, yeah, James, he's really (laughs) onto something. Um, So this really took me out of the movie, like, their teeth. But I think it takes me out of every movie when I see this. When I, I don't see, like, there's so much detail in, like, the makeup and the wardrobe and then like you just miss the teeth like <laughs> what I yeah I, I feel like they i mean i wasn't around in the 20s but i felt like they they hit the period pretty well like i feel like a lot of his like vocabulary and some the way he said certain words like like felt like old timey like that and um the wardrobe and and the cars and everything like that like it felt like you were there but his accent yeah was good. his totally. accent was really good yeah wow yeah no complaints there yeah well now that you bring up the teeth thing i did i i kept thinking like wow the boy looks very clean like yeah, like his haircut. Yeah, he didn't like, look like a farmer boy. Like, he, oh, mm. he's not, like, he's he, milking the cows? No. Like, <laughs> he's not anywhere near anything. Like, he he's went so to clean. school, though, so that might be That's something. He's working yeah. part-time Yeah, he's boy. working, part, yeah, it looked like he was working, like, summer. And and he was, like, he, I guess they that family really valued, like, school because he was going to school and... You know, if he had homework, he was like, i got to run back in the house and do homework. So mm-hmm. uh, I think it's yeah, because he was, that. like, you know, going to school. That that was his priority, maybe not farming. Mm. But I agree, he was a little too clean for a farm. <laughs> no. Cool. I don't have any other questions. Does anyone else? Oh, I had one more spawn fact that I didn't say. It's a, it's a small one, but... This is the second King adaptation for Netflix that uh, they just did, uh, Gerald's Game, Mm -hmm. which was on my top uh, ten, I think. So you guys should check that out, too, if you haven't seen it. So that one's in my list right now, too. (laughs) My, my, uh, one of my sisters really liked it and has been raving about about it, so gotta watch it. It's in my, it's in my list. It actually, it cool. feels a, I'm sorry, man. No, no, go for it. I was just going to say, it, it, that movie actually kind of feels a lot like this one, in the, that it plays like uh, psychological, you know? Mm-hmm. And, yeah, but what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say that, I don't know <clears throat> if you guys knew this, but supposedly Stephen King is a rancid fan. Oh, yeah, you were telling me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He posted a picture uh, that he was at a Rancid concert. I mean, I'm not surprised he's a rad dude. Mm-hmm. Rancid and Dropkick Murphys? Yeah, yeah, that tour. So, little did you know. 
Yeah. Yeah. Punk rocker. Remember when you told me that a few months ago, Annie was like, uh, is anybody like really surprised that he's punk? <laughs> <laughs> Um, rate, rate this? it, yeah. Mm. That's a good closer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Solid seven and a half. Cool. I say a seven. I was thinking a seven. Yeah. Uh, I would. Yeah, I'd say it's seven and a half, for sure. Yeah, I'd probably be like. Um, Seven and three fourths. Whoa! So just to switch it up, just no, to I'm, one up, you get. I'm playing. I, I think a, like a five and a half, like or even eight. I, I didn't. I thought it was uh like well paced. Um, I thought like Emma brought up the point. Like it just starts. You know, it's not. It, it's it. You know, it doesn't take like thirty, forty minutes to get to the to the meat of the movie. You know, it's just like. Oh, this is going to happen right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I would give it like a seven and a half or an eight. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up our episode for 1922. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, this episode was a blast. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us if you haven't already. You can uh, you can find us through any of the um, uh, basic platforms for podcasts, whether it be iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, uh, Spreaker, all those, uh, all that great stuff. So thank you guys so much for listening. We hope uh, to have you back next week. We have new episodes every Friday. Um, at midnight, usually they, they drop, uh, so Thursday night, technically, um, yeah, and we hope to, uh, to, uh, hear from you guys soon, thank you guys so much, uh, for listening, and, uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us those, uh, five-star ratings, and, um, for anybody who might be in the Orange County, um, area i actually have uh some artwork on display at the at at the frida cinema so if you're in that area and you're uh you got some free time you should stop by and watch uh, a guillermo del toro movie as they all of january they will be screening every um well all of his top films really um so yeah come down and check out some cool lobby artwork and uh support your local art house cinema thank you guys so much um and stay safe happy friday is that the truth son yes sir oh can i go back inside i got score to make up for being sick Come on now members your turn to mill yes sir This isn't finished. Did I do all right, Papa? You did perfect, son. Are we going to get caught? Are we going to jail? When are we going to film that well? Not yet. Why? Well, it's only a matter of time before they bring Sheriff Jones out there. Filled in well might make them suspicious about why I got filled in. So recent and all. But one that's still being filled in. And for good reason.